Live, Super Bowl Sunday, Rob Gronkowski, Kick of Destiny. You pulled John Cena this year? What? Yes, John Cena is like my kryptonite in, uh, throughout the commercial. He's always telling me I'm going to miss. And he wants to be the guy that actually does the kick. But I come through again, and I let the executives of FanDuel know that I am going to make this kick this year, and that's why they chose me again. And John Cena, take a back seat, baby, because I'm going to make that kick. I love that. How's it going? Give us the update. We're going to do these weekly like, temperature checks, check-ins. You know, we, we have to all make a pick for the kick of destiny. Will he make it or miss it? Where are we at? It's going really good. I've, I've had about four practice sessions in the last two yeah. weeks. I actually have another practice session tomorrow. And I'm, I'm doing this rapid fire kicking style where I just have someone, you know, set the tee up, set the ball up on the tee, and then I kick it. And then within five seconds, I do it again because I'm just trying to build the strength of my leg and get my leg conditioned just so it's ready to go for any circumstance or any situation I have to deal with out in the middle of the desert, out in Vegas. So uh, it's going really good. I made a 40 yarder the other day as well. I'm making 30 yarders, but the kick is gonna be 25 yards and I'm gonna make this kick and I'm gonna put the football right through the uprights. You made a 40 yarder, I like seeing that. I'm in the make column right now after hearing that. Are you, are you, you know, Belichick, like you said, to prepare you to go into bad conditions, he'd wet the balls, he'd make it cold, he'd have like, are you, are you embracing those elements? Do you have like wind fans on you for all of this? What do you got? I actually got to do some practicing outside. Every single kicking practice yeah. so far has been inside, but I have wet the ball a few times just in case if it's <laughs> raining out. So Coach Belichick loved to do that. Coach Belichick's favorite thing was when it was under 32 degrees. He would walk <laughs> up to the football. He would get two water bottles. He would spray the water bottles and make sure they were slippery. And you got to hike the ball before the football turns into ice. And then you would watch Tom Brady try to throw the football. And he looks like a four-year-old trying to throw it because it was just slipping out of his hands on every throw. And Coach Belichick would just be in the corner chuckling, uh, laughing that he couldn't complete the pass. So what are the conditions I'm dealing with right now so i am prepared for this trip. maybe we need to get bill in this corner. bill's bill's not busy he isn't doing anything we need to get him there can you can you what, what is that what's your best impersonation of bill's laugh chuckling bill chuckling oh, i've never funny. heard <laughs> like you can't, you can't throw the ball like a, a, a high schooler can throw it better than you <laughs> i love it <laughs> Not bad. Listen, uh, he's not laughing. He's he's try trying to find a job. He's like ironing his, his best suits. He probably has three suits, that man. And he's, uh, you know, obviously he had some time with the Falcons, so did Mr. Harbaugh, trying to find a job. I tried telling you he's not coming back every week of this year, and you could not believe it. Did you know and you lied and just had a good poker face, or were you actually shocked? No, I was actually shocked. I, w I was not believing it until I saw it, and then I saw it, so then I finally believed it, Kay, but... I truly thought that he was going to be there for another year. Uh, I was not putting my poker face on. I felt like Coach Belichick was grandfathered in. I mean, six Super Bowls. He puts his players in the best position every single week to win to win a football game. So it was just tough. I mean, it was emotional to see him go. It really was. I mean, uh, greatest coach of all time. I wouldn't be where I am right now to this day. We would not be talking, Kay, yeah. if it wasn't for Coach Belichick. He drafted me in the second round. And if you go back and if you see his interview about him drafting me in the second round, the pre-draft visit, him talking about it, he said it was he was taking a chance, and he sure was. And I appreciate Coach Belichick for taking the chance on myself um, and, and taking me with a 42nd pick overall um, and actually trading up for me and uh, traded up with the uh, Oakland Raiders so he can get that 42nd spot before the 43rd spot because that was the Baltimore Ravens and they were going to select me there. So I appreciate you, Coach, for doing that. Mm -hmm. My nine years were very, very special in New England. I wouldn't have changed a thing. If I could go back, I would do it all over again. And uh, he's going to be successful in the future as well. I mean, he's interviewing for jobs right now. The Atlanta Falcons job is out there. Uh, the Los Angeles Chargers job is out there. He's going to do a great job wherever – Situa whatever situation he goes into next as well. A little schmoopy reverence moment out of Gronk for, for Bill Belichick. I love that. I know I saw what you were tweeting. All I mean, everybody has nothing but respect for him. 